In this video, I'm revisiting a cool project that I tackled during lockdown back in 2020. Reroofing an old stone summer house that looks over a beautiful bog garden here in County Wicklow, Ireland. So as you can see from these pictures before I started the project, the old slate roof was in a pretty bad state of disrepair. It's one of those jobs that you look at and think, no problem, I got this. And the more you get into it, the more you realize what a challenge you took on. So challenge accepted, I guess. So obviously the first step was removing all of the old slates. That was a real joy. Next, I replaced any rotten wooden joists. Thankfully, there were just a few. But they did happen to be the most difficult ones, of course. Then you can see I've put new roofing felt on. And I began putting slates on. Voici la summer house. It's a very tricky, challenging project. Each of these slates has to be cut on both sides. Um, when this was framed originally, the peak, center peak, is not in the center. So all the spacings are different on the rafters. Different in every way, actually, height-wise and left to right. As you can see, some of the slates rock really badly. And we're just gonna see how it goes as we get up higher. Each of the little battens the slates are gonna rest on, the spacings change from eight inches apart at the end there to about six inches apart in the middle. So that's gonna obviously affect the slates, but if I don't do that, everything's gonna end up cattywampus at the top. So hoping for good results. So this is looking down from above. And you can see I'm trying to get a little bit of a curve on these battens, but it is hard work. Every one custom cut. So what you're seeing here basically represents many, many, many hours of work spent lovingly shaping these battens to get as much curve as I could to stop the slates rocking. But as you'll see, one way or other, some of them still rock, but I did what I could. Check out the tree on the right, you'll see an ominous looking crack down the center. And sure enough, just a couple of winters later, half the tree fell down in a storm. So obviously that had to be cleaned up, and then we had to have the other half taken down because it was dangerous. And the tree surgeon we hired to do it did an incredible job. Not a scrape on the brand new roof of the summer house. So here's just a few videos of the finished product, several years later in pristine condition. 